biomimicry inspiring from nature is an idea and incentive that people from scientists to children have taken as we know nature is the only 100% efficient system so why not we get inspired from nature and build our own artificial world better for sustainable living this is what biomimicry is a plethora of nature inspired ideas and inventions so let's get inspired from nature and get some hands on to biomimicry mera naam samrat changi hai aur aaj main aapko biomimicry ke bare mein bataunga the design and production of materials structures and systems that are modeled on biological entities and processes is called biomimicry jitni bhi life hai yani nature usse hum कॉपी करके नई नई चीजें बनाते हैं जो हमारे लिए यूजफुल होती है और कॉम्प्लेक्स ह्यूमन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करते हैं तो उसे बायोमेट्री कहते हैं अब मैं आपको बायोमेट्री के कुछ एग्जांपल्स देता हूँ तो पहला एग्जांपल है गेको क्लाइंबिंग फीट तो गेकोस जो होते हैं वो एक टाइप ऑफ यूजर होते हैं जिनके लिम्स में हेयर होते हैं जिससे वो वर्टिकल सर्फेसिस चिड़ पाते हैं तो इसी को कॉपी करके साइंटिस्ट ने ऐसे पैड्स बनाए हैं जिनमें हेयर होते हैं और इससे भी हम आराम से वर्टिकल सरफेसेस बिना सपोर्ट के चढ़ पाते हैं दूसरा एग्जांपल है अर्माडिलो बैकपैक तो अर्माडिलो का शेल बहुत फ्लेक्सिबल और हार्ड होता है जिससे ये बहुत आसानी से मूव भी कर पाता है तो इसे कॉपी करके साइंटिस्ट ने एक ऐसा बैग बनाया है जिसमें भी बहुत सारी लेयर्स होती है बोन्स और मसल्स को देखा कि वो जब भी डैमेज होती हैं तो वो धीरे धीरे खुद को हील करने की कोशिश करती हैं। तो वैसे ही उन्होंने एक पॉलिमर बनाया जिसमें उन्होंने हीलिंग एजेंट्स एजेक्ट कर दिए जो खुद को डैमेज होने पे अपने आप हील करते Do you know which is the best geometrical shape for building a storehouse with maximum capacity and maximum amount of building materials? Well, honey bees have answer to this question. They are very fascinating creatures for number of reasons. The honeycomb cells made by bees is hexagon in shape. Why they opted for hexagon only? It's only because hexagon has the smallest circumference and maximum area. Using this knowledge of bees help man in making many emergency houses and shelters for homeless people. Thank you. My name is Arsha Kapoor. Today I am presenting my example of biomimicry in architecture. Learning from termites how to create sustainable buildings. We generally think of termites as destroying buildings, not helping design them. But Eastgate building, an office complex in Harare, Zimbabwe. has an internal climate control system originally inspired by the structure of termite mounds further research is revealing more about the relationship between mound structure and internal temperature and could influence additional building designs as our understanding go- grows architect mick pierce collaborated with engineers at arup associates to design eastgate which uses 90% less energy from ventilation than conventional buildings its size and has already saved the building owners over 3.5 million dollars in air conditioning costs let's learn more from the real creator thank you radha swami my name is bhakti sharma i am going to present a biomimicry example of survivor locating spider Survivor locating spider. Could you imagine a disaster locating drone that had the maneuverability of spiders? Well, luckily, German researchers at Fraunhofer Institute did. Inspired by spiders' ability to squeeze through tight spaces and turn on the spot, they developed an ideal model for life-saving robots. Survivor locating spider can be used as a searching tool in environments that are dangerous for humans or too difficult to get to. This high-tech assistant is still a prototype. This robot is extremely mobile, highly rigid and very light. With cameras and sensors on board, it can send back images and information about the area without endangering humans. Its eight legs are modeled after a real spider's hydraulically operated limbs which provide great stability in uneven surfaces. I am Dhun Bhatia. I observed that the shape of 
or ship and rocket head is similar to fish. Do you know fish shape? It is called streamlined shape. This shape is tapered at the end and broader in the middle which provides very little resistance to a flow of air or water, thereby increasing speed. And Rather so me, I want to tell about one example of biodemical that is desert beetle surviving in dry desert by considering the water vapor in the atmosphere using the right risk on its back. Based on this idea, some students of MIT have made a prototype of nanosubstructure on surface like roofs, water which can collect water from atmosphere and the prototype has been highly successful. Radha Swami, thank you. Radha Swami, my name is Dur Satsangi and I am going to share with you a very interesting example on biomimicry today. Tree climbing robot mimics inchworms. The tree bot uses tactile sensors to find its way up a tree trunk in the same way that inchworms do. Tree bot is the creation of Tin Lum Lam and his team at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Tree bot was designed to help humans who might need to scale trees for dangerous tasks. The tree bot could do the climbing for them. It can even take a payload up along with it. Thank you. Radha Swami, myself, Nishya Sharan Shivasta, going to share my idea based on biomimicry. We have learned and copied a lot of things from different animals in our life. I think we can take idea from dolphins and can make an electric stick which can help blinds. Dolphin produce electrical waves which gives them idea about an object. When the waves return to them after hitting the object, based on this idea, an electrical stick can be made which can produce similar waves and can sense the nearby objects. It will help blinds. Thank you all.